Texan Global School Algebraic Notation and Terminology We will start contrasting arithmetic with algebraic concepts. Arithmetic is the branch of mathematics that represents quantities in the form of specific numbers. For example, 4 is a specific number that expresses a fixed quantity in a set. This is called cardinality or quantization of a set, because it represents a certain quantity. Each symbol in arithmetic represents only one quantity. On the other hand, algebra is the branch of mathematics representing quantities in general numbers that can express any value. In this case, general numbers are also called variables or literals and are represented by any letter. As shown in the example, the variable x can represent any value such as 5, a half, minus 8, or even the irrational number pi. It is crucial to define and understand the algebraic notation and terminology. These concepts are the stepping stones for further analysis. The first concept will be the algebraic term. An algebraic term is the part of an expression that can be a specific number, a literal number, product, quotient, root extraction, or a combination. 5 can be an example of an algebraic term in some expression. Also the variable a, eh, or the 5x, or the quotient minus 5b over c, even the square root of 7z. As you can see, none is separated by additions or subtractions since, in this way, we would have more than one algebraic term. We will now analyze the parts of an algebraic term. The first part is called numerical coefficient, which is any real number that multiplies the variables. For example, the first term's numerical coefficient is 8, and the second is negative 8. We now highlight the following parts of the algebraic term, the sign of the algebraic term, one or more variables, and the corresponding exponents. It is crucial to respect the algebraic language at all times. Remember that when no specific number appears, the numerical coefficient is 1. x, for example, or the product a, b, both have a numerical coefficient of 1. The algebraic notation indicates that, in this single case, it is not necessary to write the number 1. On the other hand, if the sign does not appear, then it means that the sign of that numerical coefficient or algebraic term is positive. Using the same examples, x, or the product a, b, both have a numerical coefficient of 1, and therefore, a positive sign. Also, if a term does not have an exponent in its coefficient or its variable, it means that it has an exponent 1. The variable x has a numerical coefficient of 1, a positive sign, and its base is raised to the first power. We can compare more examples of algebraic terms on the board. The algebraic term 3ab, for example, is a positive algebraic term with a numerical coefficient plus 3, and the bases are raised to the first power. Finally, we see that an algebraic term is made up of various factors. For example, what factors can be obtained from the algebraic term equal to 14a, b, c? As we can see, the factors are 2, 7, 14, a, b, c, 2, a, 7b, 2c, a, b, and 2bc. We will analyze the concept of algebraic expression. Gabrin establishes that an algebraic expression symbolizes a combination of terms through addition and subtraction. According to this definition established by Gabrin, we define a polynomial as an algebraic expression in which the literal numbers appear only in sums, differences, or products. The listed examples meet the stated definition. Based on the same concepts, we define a monomial as a polynomial that contains only one term. In the examples, we can see that all literals appear in products only. Only one term appears on each example because there are no additions or subtractions. In this way, a binomial is a polynomial that contains two algebraic terms. The examples indicate that the established concepts are still being met. In this case, we have two algebraic terms, which are separated by additions or subtractions. Variables appear only in sums, differences, or products. Therefore, we define a trinomial as a polynomial that contains three algebraic terms. In this way, the classification of polynomials is followed. Various examples are shown as this type of expression with three terms. We can conclude that every polynomial is an algebraic expression. But, not every algebraic expression is a polynomial. 
The Van Euler diagram below summarizes the established concepts. We can see that the universe is algebraic expressions. It is composed of polynomials in which the variables appear only in sums, differences, or products. And non-polynomials, which include those expressions of a term, two terms or more, but in which their variables appear with quotients and radicals. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved to Texan Global School, LLC. www.texanglobalschool.com